Sup y'all, bring you guys another video. So to those who didn't know, uh, Rais Alim fought against Eduardo Baez in the undercard of the title unification fight between uh, Brandon Figueroa and uh, Stephen Fulton over in Vegas. Fight was shown live on Showtime. This fight was shown live on Showtime. This was the co-feature, the co-main event. It was scheduled for 10 rounds and it did go the whole 10 rounds and Rais Alim won the fight by majority decision. One judge had it a draw, 95-95. Two judges had it in favor of Rais Alim, 98-92, 96-94. And uh, Rais Alim wins his fight by majority decision, improving to 19-0, remaining undefeated with 12 wins coming by way of knockout TKO. To those who don't know, Rais Alim is actually highly ranked under the WBA, right there, right number one, number 11 by the WBC. He's pretty much next in line to fight for the WBA title. Um... But who knows when will that happen, right? We don't know yet. Uh, MJ has a WBA mandatory that he needs to take care of, which is running Rios. And uh, maybe Alim will be next in line, maybe in a, in a year or two. Who knows? He might end up actually fighting uh, Stephen Fulton, who won the main event. But we'll see what's next for Ray Salim. Eduardo Baez uh, suffers his second loss in his pro career at the age of 26 years old. Two draws, 20 wins coming by way of knockout TKO. I'm going to be completely honest, uh, during this fight, it was the Teofimo Lopez versus George Cambosos fight, and obviously, I was watching that fight more. Um, I had guests over, by the way, to those who didn't know, a uh, bunch of people actually. We were all watching the Lopez Cambosos fight, that was a pretty intense fight, man. So, I didn't really pay attention too much on this fight, I only caught most of it uh, towards the end of this fight. And judging from the end, it looks like Aleem was... Uh, landing more, throwing more more accurate punches, boxing really well. I thought he was doing pretty well towards those later rounds. So I'm actually surprised that one judge had it 95-95. Um, but then again, like I said, I didn't watch the whole entire fight, so maybe it was close. Uh, but looking at the body language in the end, uh, it looked like Alim was was the one winning uh, towards um, the body language towards the end of the fight, I should say. Um, but like I said, didn't score the fight, so I, I can't really give you guys my my uh, full thoughts on who I thought won. But uh, no surprise, Alim won, in my opinion. I did pick him to win after all. I'm just surprised that it went the distance, and one judge had it a draw. Uh, I, was expect I was expecting a very dominant win from Alim. Um, and, and yeah, unfortunately, it just sucks that this fight took place during the lopez Cambosis fight because... Yeah, I don't think that many people paid attention to this fight. Um, anyway, congrats again to Alim on the win. If you did see it, let me know what did you think about it in the comments. I just don't have time right now to watch the whole entire fight too. It's almost 2 in the morning. So, yeah, gotta go to bed. <laughs> anyway, uh, Eduardo Baez, like I said, it's not the end of the world. He's 26 years old. He can rebound from this. It's just back to the drawing board and uh, learn from it. Learn from your mistakes and improve from those mistakes. And uh, I'm sure Bayes will be back again in the future. If you saw the fight, let me know what did you think about it in the comments. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. And like always, have a great day. All right, thanks.